Hi guys, welcome to Lily's Clown at Kiev. So as you know, I am working for my GCSEs at the moment and part of that is an ensemble bit. And the clarinet, it, it's not like it's a weird instrument. It's a transposing instrument. So it's sort of awkward with other instruments apart from the clarinet and other transposing instruments. But my class mainly play music. <laughs> they usually do singing and like pianos and guitars and like rocky stuff. And the clarinet fits into none of them. So yeah, I had no grip to go to. So what I did was I was just like, do you think I could do a loop pedal so I could be in, be in an ensemble with myself? Nah, <laughs> teacher was like, well, you could do that. Yes, that's a very good idea, but you need someone else. So I was just like thinking, there's nobody else for me to go with. So I talked to my teacher in school about this and she's like, I can play the piano for you. And I was like, yes, okay, this will be good. So I'm basically in an ensemble with my teacher. <laughs> so it's actually really good though because I am really bad at working with people and I'm just like more of a lone wolf and those type of things. So that's, in my eyes, it's pretty good for me. And in others, it's just quite sad. <laughs> but yeah, so one of the pieces that, well, the piece I am doing, hopefully, is He's a Pirate from Pirates of the Caribbean. So that is it, yeah. So yeah. So I'm just gonna do little tricks on it. Um, it's quite easy, sort of like relatively easy for me. Um, so there's not really much to work on, but I'll find something. <laughs> The te my clarinet teacher said to me was that my A's and G's are sharp, so like they're a bit on the sharp side. So what she told me to do was um, you cover all your holes like here. So so it makes it more sharper. in the G but it can also be noticeable in the A so that's just like a safety net just keep all holes down here and then all holes covered here and here see it was noticeable in the A there so <laughs> but you have to take all fingers off when it comes to other notes like the E. So it works like doesn't work there, so it's good. Like that. So yeah. <laughs> Wrong bit. Okay, I'm just gonna repeat one section and not go on any further. As you can hear, there's like a bit of a slabber down my planet and it sounds sort of watery like the Niagara Falls, as my clarinet teacher says. So one thing she taught me that's really disgusting, disgusting, it's called slapper control, where you just go like, like that, and it works. It's disgusting, I know, but it's for my clarinet teacher, so yeah. It is actually pretty handy when you're in situations like exams and stuff, yeah. <laughs> And it's good 
to get into the swing of it, like da -da 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 -da, so that when the music comes on, it's you know, it's not going to be a shock to you that you're doing this in a totally different time. So yeah, it's gonna skip down a bit. Um. Oh yeah, it's a trick key. So from F sharp, yeah, F sharp to D sharp, you usually go like, <laughs> and you have to do it really fast. And sometimes it can be really awkward. So without the trick fingering, it's <laughs> but with the trick fingering, all you have to do is it's easy. So go. Like, that's F and then you'd go down to E as normal but you put your B finger here so this is E so it's E with your B finger middle finger here without it so you need to be really careful that you remember to put your middle finger down so so it's a lot more easier and a lot more quicker so, and that's awkward also because like, <laughs> it's just weird. So it's easier. <laughs> so it has like this smooth transition. So you also don't like hear much keys either. So, <laughs> so it's like a lot easier in my eyes. So yeah, it's F sharp, then E with the middle finger. Oh, um, it's also really quick as well, because I didn't say. <laughs> oh, case oh, you haven't noticed, I'm really bad at picking up in the middle of things, so I'm just going to go to the start of a phrase. forget to like have my the horse covered down here so like the notes can easily go ski with so I just need to it's just something I need to remember in terms of that <laughs> tricking at that piece uh, the rest of it is actually quite straightforward so yeah I'm, I, I'm gonna put it up as a practice piece on YouTube sometime soon I don't hold me on that I'll probably end up forgetting it and yeah that's my second vlog done <laughs> if you have any suggestions on like any challenges or anything like that I can do on YouTube and um, please say because I'm new to this and I have no idea what to do apart from vlogs so if you know of any cool clarinet challenges or any type of music challenges like just suggest in the comments below so yeah hope you enjoyed that guys and from Lily and Lily's Music Cave wait that was wrong wait um from Lily's Clarinet Cave goodbye I think that was it bye